channel, I'm NDL Gamer. Today, there's a new code for the game Elf Explorer. Make sure to enter it quickly before it expires. The code is AF9KRU0G. I'll also try my luck with 100 Gen 4 gacha pulls and review the SSR and UR Pokemon I receive. Be sure to watch the entire video. I got a scorpion Pokemon named Drapion, and it looks pretty cool. Let's check out its stats together. Overall, it mainly focuses on defense, speed, and attack, so you can build its nature as S, A, Tech A, plus Ak, or my SAT SBD. If you want to go fully defensive, choose plus Def, and then select buff skills for it, because its speed and attack aren't particularly high compared to other Pokemon. As for its skills, you can use Fell Stinger to buff its attack, just two buffs will max it out. For damage dealing skills, use Crunch and Knock Off or Crunch and Pin Missile if you trust your luck. Alternatively, you can use X Scissor. For buff skills, you should choose Acupressure. It randomly boosts a stat by two levels, and I think that's pretty strong. Next up is a grass type Pokemon named Leafeon. Its strongest stats are defense and attack at 110, with a relatively high speed as well. You can use the Nature S at K plus AK to boost its damage output even further. With its high defense, you don't need to worry about whether it attacks first or last. Regarding skills, it has Leech Seed, a pretty strong move that drains the enemy's HP each turn and heals your entire team. Sword Dance can be used to increase its attack by two levels. For damage dealing moves, Last Resort has very high damage, but it's a non-priority move, meaning you'll have to use it after your opponent's move. Leaf Blade provides decent damage and improves accuracy, or you can use Razor Leaf to boost critical hits, which is also powerful. Now we have a fairy and flying type Pokemon named Togekiss, and it looks super cute. As for its stats, SATK is the highest, so you know where to focus your nature, right? For skills, you can use Tri-Attack, which not only deals high damage, but also has a chance to freeze, burn, or paralyze the opponent. You can also use Air Slash for decent damage, with a chance to make the opponent flinch. For buff skills, you can use Yawn to make the opponent fall asleep on the next turn, Life Dew to heal, or Baton Pass to switch out Togekiss and pass its boosted stats to the next Pokémon which works well with buffing skills like Ancient Power. Now we have Float Cell, a Water-type Pokémon. This Pokémon isn't particularly strong, but it does have high speed. You should use physical attack skills like Crunch, Wave Crash, and Liquidation. For buff skills, just use Agility to boost speed. As for Soak, you'll need to pair it with Electric or Grass-type moves to deal double damage since it turns the opponent into a Water-type. This Pokemon's stats are too weak, so there's no need to review it in detail, as I know you won't be using it. This Pokemon specializes in defense, so you should build it as a defensive tank. Since it's hard to take down, you can use Taunt to prevent the opponent from using status moves, 
like sleep-inducing moves or Jardos' attack buffs. In general, focus on using status moves like Protect. This Pokemon has both high defense and high attack, so I think you should build it focusing on attack. Using three attack moves and one status move will make it very strong. This Pokemon has very balanced stats, so you should look at its skills and build it according to the type where it has the strongest moves. At first glance, you can build it focusing on s Akake since it has many skills that use s Akake. This Pokemon is too weak, so I have no comments on it. Both its stats and skills are nothing special. Finally, I got a UR Pokemon. Its stats look great, and it also has high speed. For an SAC build, you use Uproar, Psychic, Nasty Plot, and Detect. If you prefer an attack build, go with Explosion for extremely high damage, but it may cause you to faint, last resort, and rest to recover HP. That's it for this video, see you in the next ones, don't forget to like and subscribe to support me, thank you all.